Right, so last question, because it's a lockdown interview, Aww. are there any new skills you've picked up, Katie, or have you got any tips you want to share with people how, how to cope through through the all the restrictions that we've had? Right, well, um, I haven't taken up baking, but I've been enjoying other people's baking. Um, I tell you what I have done is I've tried to, I've, I've, I've got more out into the garden. I know a lot of people have done that. Um, and I've been out painting the wall in the garden and that feels really good because quite often in my job it can take a year to finish a project but when you paint a wall you work hard all day and you step back and the job's done so I've been doing more things outside spending time making sure in that lockdown I think it's important if you've got a garden to spend at least some time there even if it's mm. raining you're, you're not sugar my granny used to say you won't melt or get out for a walk it's so important it changes the context so I've enjoyed walking even more. I did anyway. We did a lot of walking because I've got a dog and if I don't walk it, so it's a bit like yours, it goes wild. <laughs> um, but so I, my, my big thing is I probably get more active in terms of the walking. And I've got back on my, my, my cross trainer and really only because um, I've been eating so much. I've been looking forward to eating all the different things when you spend more time at home. I've been looking forward to doing that. Um, so I think from my perspective, the big tips I would say is yeah, you know, you need to make some kind of delineation between being at home and being out, even though we're, our job's to stay home just now and to make sure we don't spread this horrible virus across. When you are out, take notice, be mindful. So I'm quite a very mindful person anyway. I do practice mindfulness and I do a meditation most days if I can remember to do it. And it makes a big difference to me. And some people think, oh, it's gobbledygook. It doesn't need to be. It can be for 10 minutes. But when you're out walking, I think here's my big tip look at everything through new eyes almost look at it as if you're a bird what's in the trees what do the leaves look like what's the grass looking like what are the plants looking like because quite often you can walk and you're inside your own head and you don't see the beauty that's round about you so i would say when you walk walk mindfully feel your feet in the ground walking along mm. take notice of what's round about you and that actually gives you a whole feeling of perspective because we're in, living in unprecedented quite scary times just now and it reminds you that you're part of something bigger. You're part of something much bigger and that we're part of a bigger environment and a place. And actually, you feeling a wee bit smaller as a person helps you to your worries to be shrunk a wee bit as well. So my big tip, I suppose, is to enjoy taking exercise. Don't overdo it, you know, but it's, for me, I'm trying to, it's an offset because I'm eating some lovely baking and all sorts of things, but also be very mindful you know, be, be grateful for what, 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 what the good things that are in your life and also look at things through fresh eyes. So I think mindfulness is my big, my big um, hint to people if they would try and do it. Yeah. Do you know, Katie, I used to live in a flat in Barbados Road um, and that was one thing that I felt was missing. I, I didn't have an outside uh, space and I see, I, I'm so fortunate now that I have, I have a big garden here and I think, oh, if you were stuck in that flat, Elaine, looking at the four walls. I, I think it would be so, so depressing. So, I, you know, I really feel for people who maybe haven't got that outdoor space. But um, I suppose, like you said earlier, we are lucky in Kilmarnock. Ten minute walk for your front door and you can be in one of the lovely parks, you know. Absolutely. Yeah. And sometimes your mood says to you, oh, I can't be bothered going for a walk, I'm not going to do it. Don't listen to your mood. It's just, it's, it's not real. Do the opposite of what your, 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 your lazy mood tells you and go and do it. And with, I promise you, this is a Katie guarantee. Within 10 minutes when you're out walking, you'll say, I'm glad I did that. So oh, there's absolutely. something about pushing back just now against the, the voice in your head that says, oh, just button down and stay lazy and what, you know, stay in. Getting out actually makes your whole, you know, you know a 20 minute walk gives you probably about 10 hours satisfaction later on. You'll feel better for it. So... The mindfulness is, you're right, and you know, I did, I lived in Waterside Street and I had um, no garden either, but I loved looking out at the trees at the river. I looked out onto the river and quite often I would go and sit there and I was right in the verge of the Howard Park there. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. although it wasn't my garden, I, I kind of pretended that the Howard Park was my front garden and used to walk in that as well. So, you know, it, that's my big thing to people. Get out as far as you can, get out as much as possible within the lockdown rules because we're doing this to keep people safe and to save lives. But also open your eyes when you're out. Don't walk around worrying and if, don't and go on autopilot. Consciously open your eyes to what's round about you. And and for goodness sake, as far as you can, smile at everybody. This this physical distancing. I'm desperate to cuddle everybody, but a smile is, is good just now. That that's and, and you know even when people look worried, when I say hi and smile to them, 
that they open up again. You can see them coming, coming alive. So don't underestimate what a smile will do for someone if they're worrying about something. Yeah, no, I definitely agree with that. Sometimes I have a really bad day at work and I go home and I think, oh, I can't be bothered taking the dog out, but you've got to take the dog out. And within five minutes, it's almost like your brain starts, well, my brain starts downloading and you get rid of all, yeah. the, all the fuzz. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. great, Katie. Thank you for, for giving us all your views. What we're going to do is we're going to collate them all and, and put them on our YouTube channel. So I'll let you know if it goes live, okay? Okay.